Get off the basket. Probably young people, and uh, it seems to happen periodically. Uh, when it does, typically they hit a number of different locations. Like on Waldo Street, putting him and no. his neighbors in danger. <laughs> harmless fun, but it can be very detrimental at an hey. intersection like that. You have to get down. Oh, you you might fall. For Burn Township, they tell me that a sign like this stop sign can cost about there. fifty bucks each. The sheriff tells me that they're looking for groups of young people who may be driving around with signs like these in their cars. In Burn Township, I'm Ashley Yor, ABC Six News. A price involving stop signs are no laughing matter. Back in August of 2011, two women were killed and a teen was sentenced to jail time after a stop sign was found wrapped in plastic. Harry Spangler and Jean Shea didn't see the sign, and their car was hit by another vehicle. Seth Stonerock was convicted in that crime. New information now after nearly a decade of debate, Ohio is moving closer to having a comprehensive puppy mill law. It's first. ABC6 reporter Adam Arrow is live in the newsroom now with what's being proposed. Yep. Well, lawmakers have been trying to pass a stricter law for seven years, but until now they've run into many obstacles, like turnover in the legislature. But recent puppy mill investigations and this other states surrounding ours enacting stricter laws have really put the issue front and center. Now, you can take a look at this video from our area's most recent bust. It happened at a home in Richland County last month. 281 chihuahuas and other small dogs were found living in no. what humane officials call no. terrible living conditions. No, 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 no. like this are a product of the little to no enforcement no. the state has to prevent them. No, 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 you fall. Lawmakers say some no. players know it. They do, they do. Don't fit on the... What? I said no. It's okay, but I said no. And the specifics of the puppy mill legislation is still being tweaked in committee, but Representative Paul says ultimately breeders will have to pay a fee to operate in the state, and that money.